This is another in the series of Conrad Goldhofer models and it's a version with a low profile deck. And it's presented in the colours of Bonet, a German heavy haulage specialist. The model comes in a high quality presentation box and it does include a sheet of instructions which is uh, helpful, although perhaps not complete because it doesn't cover all the assembly of the uh, parts of the model. And in the box you've got a MAN tractor unit, um, a gooseneck for the trailer, there are a couple of uh, module units, a four axle and a three axle. Um, there's another couple of small parts which uh, include a connection piece for uh, the trailers of one of the module units and also a light board which uh, clips on the back of the trailer. The deck units come in two pieces, one of which is uh, a built up section out of uh, three separate pieces and there's also another separate piece um, which actually isn't mentioned within the instructions. And there's a bag of small parts for fitting to the tractor. The small parts for the tractor include some uh, roof aerials, um, some colour coded door mirrors and also uh, an extra towing hitch for the rear. And these are fairly easily fitted. Um, the roof aerials are kind of a bit fiddly to put in. Um, might need to trim them a bit to get them to fit well. And at the back you fit the extra towing hitch. So starting with the MAN tractor unit, it's reasonably detailed. The lights are quite nice at the front with lenses, although surprisingly for a vehicle that's um, liveried, there's no number plates. The wheel hubs are good um, with convincing looking wheel nuts. The graphics are fairly simple in this livery, but they've been produced well because even though some of them are very small, they're perfectly legible. Um, I just wish the Cranes etc team member would look at what he's doing and try and get his hand on the door handle rather than just touching the body. At the back of the tractor unit there's a fairly simple looking equipment tower. In terms of the features on the tractor it uh, rolls along very well. The rear two axles have a degree of uh, movement to represent suspension. Underneath the chassis is not the most detailed. It lacks a prop shaft from the uh, engine to the rear axles for example. The steering mechanism works um, but it can only go a short way before the uh, wheels on the second axle start fouling the wheel arches which is a bit of a pity because it means it can't roll at all Al although you can get quite a good pose if you um, if you force the wheels. The other feature is the tilting cab um, it does move forward it's one of these um, Conrad mechanisms which um, feels like it's going to break if you push it too hard and so the, the range of movement consequently is uh, fairly small and you can't really pose the cab tilted forward We'll now look at the parts that make up the trailer and we'll start with the Goldhofer module units. The structures are metal and solidly made, although the wheel supports themselves are plastic pieces um, and they've got a good range of suspension movement. And on the four line unit the steering works well and it's uh, linked and produces uh, something that looks like proportional steering. Whereas on the three line unit, again the steering is all linked but it produces more of a parallel arrangement of steering. And for both modules they roll along well when they're pushed. The deck sections are completely metal and very thin because they are a low profile deck. And you can see underneath the structure is quite good. And they just pin together with um, fairly long plastic pins um, which are relatively easy to pull out and then you can separate the units. The gooseneck is another solid piece and it does have the ability to um, alter the angle of which it's connected to um, any units with cylinders that are quite stiff and hold the pose and joining up the module unit to the gooseneck is uh, very straightforward just push it together and then use one of the plastic pins uh, to push it through the holes and that actually forms a very se secure uh, connection and then at the other end there's another piece to put on which is for the deck connection again it just slots into place and same system just use a plastic pin to pin it together and again you've got a very robust and strong connection. Connecting the deck and the rear end is easy um, because you just hook it over the attachment at the front and then you form the trailer and it's uh, perfectly stable in that configuration. This is only a short configuration in fact the shortest configuration you can set up with a low profile deck and at the back there's a, a light board to fit and that uh, presses into place. It's a little bit 
difficult to get that in because of the uh, thickness of the paint sometimes affects how you can push it in and then the last thing to do is to fit the tractor at the front and um, the pin on the gooseneck just uh, pushes into place on the fifth wheel of the tractor and then that's it you've formed your uh, tractor and trailer and uh, it all joins together quite well now with this model you can set different lengths of low profile deck using the available pieces or if you want you can go without the deck completely and just have the module units joined together the detail level on the trailer is reasonable if perhaps not to the highest level uh, although on the review model some of the graphics weren't as good as they could have been and here you can see the bonnet name has got uh, some yellow paint shining through uh, the lettering at the rear the light board has some detail but it could really benefit from some more graphics I think perhaps uh, number plates and uh, maximum speed signs that kind of thing overall Conrad have produced a good looking model in the bonnet livery and there's enough uh, functionality to be able to pose it in different ways even if the detail level isn't the highest it's a typically strong and tough Conrad model with enough going for it for it to be recommended.